Hi there, welcome to my sewing studio. Come on in. This has been a work in progress for a couple of years. Uh, on the right, the first thing you see is my, uh, this is my fabric cabana. This used to be a laundry hamper, which I retrofitted to hold fabric rolls and also bolts of fabric as well. Yep, all sewn by me. Next, we have my bathroom cabinet turned scissor thread storage and just all of my cutting accessories, my fold out cutting board. This is where I do all of my silhouette cutting for vinyl and um, all my fabric cutting too. Next, we have my big cedar walk-in closet, which is a little mess right now, so I'm not going to show you that, but I do have my vintage hats. That I've collected over the years. Big thanks to mom who would go to estate sales and find me vintage hats. And then this is another bathroom cabinet that I turned into a, a sewing cabinet. This has my patterns, quilt, costume patterns, and this is vinyl that I added to the glass. Uh, next we have my Ikea daybed. Then I added my own comforter that I had custom printed. I designed it to look like the bed of a featherweight sewing machine. And then I had the patent for the featherweight sewing machine enlarged and added to my wall. So I'll put the links in the blog. Next, <laughs> another, another um, bathroom cabinet turned pattern storage. I really need pattern storage. And I also made this frame, it's an Ikea frame. I removed the glass, quilted it, and then added some heat transfer flocked vinyl to it. And then we've got my 1880s treadle sewing machine, which I'm still trying to get up and running. If you've got any tips, let me know. It's an 1880s fiddle base machine. Uh, this is more of my Notion storage. This has everything from my zippers, uh, all of my grommets, piping, zigzag. I've tried to get everything uh, labeled, but uh, yeah, it's still a work in progress. But thank you, Ikea, for helping keep me organized. This is my thread stand that my dad built. He is amazing. And uh, I told him what I wanted. I, I told him I needed a, a rainbow of colors and I needed four cones of thread per row. And he was so great in designing this for me. Uh, my little cabana curtain made with two curtain rods and I sewed the fabric myself. And this is my little sewing area. My trusty Janome machine is my primary. I've got a uh, baby lock serger that I love and my collection of featherweights. Uh, I've collected them for 10 plus years. Uh, I love them. They all have special meaning to me. Uh, one was uh, a special birthday to my mom. Uh, they're, they're all super special. Gr my grandmother gave me one. And then up here is my newest edition. This is a 19, this is a 99K from the 1940s. It is a hand crank sewing machine from Scotland. And it's a, an old singer that sews fabulously with leather and vinyl. So it's one of my new faves. So there you have it. That's my new and improved sewing studio. And now out you go. I, gotta, I have sewing to do. Out, out, out. <laughs>